<laughs> the visionary of America contains the sustained moderate threat of this upcoming scene that you'll... <laughs> Hi, Rody. Welcome to the, well, the Ant-Man vessel, <laughs> if you get what I'm... Hi there. Welcome to the embarrassing guy that once made an appearance in Spider-Man Homecoming. Yep, that's right, you're looking in the man in the mirror. Ooh, look at me, I'm so beautiful. Ah, oh, look at that suit. That's America's ass. Chow! Wakanda! Forever! Rah! Hi guys, and this following presentation is going to contain Jack saying all the ranked MCU villains that are more powerful than Thanos. So sit back, stretch your legs up, either put this on the TV, because if you have YouTube on their TV, then you'll be able to watch it on TV, and that will be better. Um, <laughs> we'll go in sidetrack though. Anyway, today we're going to be taking a look at all... The <coughs> MCU villains that are powerful than Thanos. Number one, the Mandarin. If you haven't noticed throughout the history of the MCU, yes, that's right. Iron Man 3, guys, is the MCU. It might not look like the MCU like the Incredible Hulk didn't, but the Incredible Hulk was phase one in the MCU, so I guess that doesn't really count. Sorry, Iron Man 1. Anyway... We're going to be taking a look as, as I said before, the Mandarin. Now, don't get me wrong, the Mandarin was really good, but I don't know, I mean, what was it all about? The Mandarin said that he weren't the Mandarin. The Mandarin created the Mandarin for a Mandarin. I don't get that. That was like double dutch to me. But anyway, the, the Mandarin shouldn't have really happened, really. Because no one really cares for the Mandarin. It's like a virus that goes round that gets Iron Man to pay for his mistakes. But when really he hasn't done any mistakes. So I don't know why the Mandarin was about. Anyway, the Mandarin is really powerful. He is made of lava rocks, like Serta is. But let's come to Serta after. And, well, I think he's actually related to Serta in some kind of way. Because, well, the Mandarin is made out of lava and fire. And... The Mandarin wouldn't stand a chance between Iron Man. Iron Man would just blow a hole right through Mandarin. But um, I thought maybe if they did a movie saying Iron Man, Tony Stark versus the Mandarin, then I don't think the Mandarin would stand a chance fighting a guy in a walking, flying metal suit. Like Captain America didn't stand a chance in Cap Civil War, you phony, you phony, you phony! Anyway, number two, Venom. Now, if you don't know, Venom is actually the only MCU hero slash villain, the only MCU character that can kill Thanos, right? Hear me out. He's the only Marvel, sorry, not MCU character that can kill Thanos. The only MCU character that can kill Thanos is uh, Vision and Wanda, Doctor Strange, Star-Lord, Hulk, Black Widow, not with tasers, Natasha Romanoff, and Black Panther. Speaking of Black Panther, I think he actually got whacked by Thanos, but apparently Iron Man killed him. Iron Man did kill Thanos because I was there that day. It wasn't a good day. He basically killed himself by snapping his own fingers and... He reached the Infinity Gauntlet. It was sad that day. I was crying on Planet Voromir. And, uh, no, it, it was uh, it was kind of sad. But it turns out I was on the wrong planet. Because uh, the fact that the ad wasn't on Planet Voromir where I thought it was. It was on Planet Earth. And I was just... It turns out I was crying looking at Gamora's death. Um, and Natasha's death. So... There is Gamora down there off the cliff lying like that and um, well Natasha there is the same way. So yeah, I think we've gone off a bit of focus there. Next up we have Carnage. Now if you don't know, Carnage is a serial killer. There's not much, there's not even that much to say about Carnage and um, well apart from how Iron Man 3 wasn't the, well, the the best Marvel movie, uh, 
Speaking of it, it was the worst Marvel movie, <laughs> with along with Thor: The Dark World. But anyway, let's not just talk about that. Carnage is ruthless, scary, and that's it. Thank you guys for watching. Stay tuned for part.